Well, to prosecute or not to prosecute, should the Albany County DA have moved forward on charges against four Occupy Albany protesters? That's what the State Court of Appeals is now set to decide. The argument comes down to a legal disagreement between a city court judge and the county DA. Pat Bailey explains the squabble tonight. Four people were arrested from this Occupy Albany protest in June of 2012. Since then, their case has had no action. The city court judge says a reason needs to be given as to why the DA won't prosecute these protesters. The public's entitled to a record of why their duly elected district attorney has decided to give up on a case that they initially thought had merit. An attorney for Albany County DA, David Soares, says it's because they were peacefully protesting. We have discretion in who we prosecute. Chris Horn says his client, David Soares, said from day one he would not prosecute peaceful Occupy Albany protesters. In the case of the four whose cases are in limbo, they were charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. But even those charges aren't strong enough for the DA to move forward. Horn says if taxpayers don't like it, they can do something about it. What about the public who wants them to be prosecuted? Well, I mean, and that's, that's the check and balance in this system, is if the, if the public decides that they don't like the way that we're exercising our discretion, uh, then they can vote us out of office. An attorney for city court judge William Carter says they're not asking DA Soares to prosecute any cases. All they want is a legal reason as to why he will not. In the meantime, an attorney for the charged Occupy Albany protester says if the DA is not going to move forward, then there's no case. Do you feel like this judge is, has something out for the Occupy people? I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I don't know why he would, so I don't think so. I, I think for some reason he's um, made a determination that this is what he ought to do. We disagree with that. We think he's wrong. The Court of Appeals will rule whether or not DA Soares should move forward with these cases in a few weeks. In Albany, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News. There's a new twist in a murder mystery in Dutchess County. State police have now found another body, this one on the side of the road in Wappingers Falls. Police believe it is that of Sarwat Lodi. She had been missing since investigators found the bodies of her husband and a son in a car at a supermarket yesterday. Police then found the body of another son in their Pleasant Valley home. Investigators say they are still trying to figure out just what has happened here. A uh, South Glens Falls woman will spend three and a half years in prison now for her role in a violent armed robbery. Erica Bannon was sentenced in Saratoga County Court this morning. She pled guilty in October to robbery. Back in July, she and another woman had lured a man to a parking area near the Fenimore Bridge promising sex. When they got there, and when they got the man there, they and two others beat up the man allegedly and stole his wallet.